Hello guys and welcome back to another GTA 5 modding tutorial. In today's video we will be installing the Insane Rain mod. This mod, what it does basically is it just improves the rain's graphics uh, and improves the puddles and it just makes the rain thicker. This mod is insane, it makes it just, it just gives it such such a more realistic vibe um, to the weather so today we're going to be installing that before we do get into this video if you could it would really help me out to like and subscribe and if you're having any problems with this mod or problems with your game or anything like that with any other mods uh, join my discord server link in the description guys to join that uh, in there you can go to help and support and you can create a ticket there and I will probably help you with uh, whatever you're struggling with. That's if you're having problems with anything. Anyway guys, let's get right into the video and let's go ahead and install this mod. So the first thing we want to do is locate our main game directory in File Explorer, okay? So, for this, we need to go through Steam, okay? So what you want to do is you want to open Steam. Once you're in Steam, go ahead and find your library, okay? Go in your library go to your grand theft auto v game once you're in here you should see this okay go to the side there should be a little manage tab click on there go down to manage hover over manage and then go down to hover over the browse local files click on that once you click on that you can min my steam then it should show up with your main game directory this is where you install all the mods into but before we do actually get into installing anything okay i'm gonna recommend this go back to your common in your common, um, actually before that we need to pin it because it's just easier. So what we want to do is we want to go back into common, we want to go ahead and drag common. Wait, do we have to go in here? We can't even drag it anymore. Um, so actually go back into steam apps instead. Once you're gone back to from your uh, common, from for dot v, so you want to go back with the arrow once and then go back again, okay? In here, go ahead and grab the common drag it underneath desktop okay and then it should say pin quick access let it drop down there so now you can click on there so every time your file explorer is closed instead of have to go into steam and doing it through there you can just go right back into your file explorer and then in there you can it'll be at the side coming in here then you can go back into your main game directory so it's easier to get to before we install any mods or anything like that guys what i recommend you to do is make a backup to do that you want to go out of your main game directory go back into common and then you want to you won't have a copy like uh, i do that's a backup so i'm going to teach you on how to create that now okay so we want to click on our grand theft auto v then we want to right click then go down to show more options and in here just click copy okay once you've done that go to a blank space right click show more options and then paste okay what this will go ahead and do is it will make a duplicate of your actual main game directory as you can see here it's exact exactly the same okay so every time you uh, say if uh, you have a bad mod uh, that has completely destroyed your game and it won't launch anymore instead of having to reinstall the full game you can go back in here change the name from this to something else and changing this to just grand theft auto v but yeah anyway let, let's get into the video once you've got a backup we want to go back into our grand theft auto v and now we know where our main game directory is we'll be installing the mods we need so we're going to go ahead and minimize this for now now i want to go to our browser i use brave i recommend brave it's going to also be in the link in the description and every other link is going to be in the description for today's video okay uh, the first link um, is WinRAR, okay? We need this to open files and stuff, okay? Um, you can also use 7-zip, but uh, if you've already got this installed and everything here, you can skip this bit. But for now, the first link uh, is going to be WinRAR. Uh, once you click on that link, it'll take you here. Go ahead and find your language. Uh, so, for example, mine is English. English is here. And then find your uh, PC bit, okay? So... If you're English and 32 bit, you click here. But I'm English, uh, 64 bit, so click on the whatever you are. Okay, I'm English and then 64 bit. And once you go ahead and download it, uh, go to your downloads and it should be there. Okay, go ahead and open that. 
and then it should say do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device just click yes once it's done that you should have uh, this little window pop up okay just click install here here just click ok and then click done then it'll show you where your WinRAR is located you can close this and now we can move on to the next link these uh this link and this link and this link these mods aren't required but if you want to be able to change the weather with a trainer um then i recommend getting these so to get simple training we need script v and script v.net okay so the next link will be a script v you don't have to do this but i'm just going to do this anyway okay so we're going to get script v uh, this is the link here take you here just click download underneath here there should be a download and next to that it's download click download here and then go ahead and download it then go back to your downloads and as you can see now it should open with WinRAR now go ahead and open that and minimize this the first time you do open WinRAR it'll give you this notification okay you just want to click ok once you open this you'll uh, see that the WinRAR this is how it should look okay I'm just going to drag it here drag it up here now we want to go back to our main game directory. We want to put it at the side here. Easy to get to. So okay, so here I've got my script of V, and on this side I've got my Vampire.v main game directory. Uh, in uh, your script of V, when right you want to go ahead, you'll see three files. Just open the bin uh, folder here. Okay? In there you should see three other files: an ASI um, and two application exits. Okay. You want to go ahead and select all of them and hold a left control and deselect the native trainer.asi. Once we've done that, we just need dimput8.dll and scriptv.dll. We do not need the native trainer.asi because we'll be installing simple trainer instead. So once we've got these two, we want to go ahead and drag and drop into our main game directory here. Not hovering over anything, just at the side. Go ahead and let go of that. Now we can refresh. Now, once you've done that, you've installed script of these, so we now can close that. Now, we want to go back into our browser, and the next link after that is going to be scripthubv.net. Uh, once you get, uh, once you click on the link in the description, it should take you to this page. Make sure it says the latest here. Then, on the latest, go down, and then go to the latest assets, okay? And don't click on the source codes. Make sure you uh, click on the scripthubv.net.zip, okay? Make sure it's this one. Uh, click on that. Once you click on that, you should download it. Uh, once you've downloaded that, guys, go ahead and go into your downloads and open your WinRAR, um, your scriptv.net.zip with WinRAR. Once you've opened that, guys, you can minimize uh, your browser again. Open this up. Once you've opened that up, you should have your scriptv.net um, on this side. Make sure you have your main game directory open on this side. Uh, in your script of you want to select all of these and then hold left control and deselect the license text and the readme text, okay? Once you've got all these rest of the files, you want to go ahead and drag and drop into your main game directory. Make sure you're not hovering over it, you're just at the side. Go ahead and let go and refresh, okay? Once you've done that, you've also installed script of you Now we can close. Go back to our browser. Now we've got simple trainer, okay? This is what we'll, we're going to use today to edit the weather and the time. So, uh, next link is this, so just go ahead and link in the description. Once you get there, it should direct you to this page here, okay? Go down to the versions, all versions, go to the one that's the current version, okay? Always make sure it's the current. And then go to the little download button next to that. And then once you click that, the big download button. And once you've downloaded it, uh, uh, go to your downloads and go ahead and open trainer simple trainer once you've got that open uh, you'll see a few files in here make sure you've got your main game directory on this open now in here you want to just grab the trainer v.asi and the trainer v.ini you don't need these three just these two okay once you've got these two highlighted just go ahead and drag and drop into your main game directory making sure that you're not hovering over anything just that side go ahead and let go once you've done that refresh okay now you can close this and we're going to go to the next link and the next link is going to be open id this is required uh, so uh, click in the link it should take you here in here you want to go ahead and click on download now open id uh, 4.1 click on that 
click save, go to your downloads, uh, in your downloads it should now be an OID setup.exe, go ahead and click on it, open it, and then in here it should pop up with this window, it should say choose your language, I'm English so I'm selecting English, and click continue, now in here uh, you want to go ahead and accept the terms of your disagreement, and then click continue again, and then click continue again, well, actually click run open ID after this installation and now click continue and it should say this just click yes now it's going to download everything it doesn't take that long just wait patiently and once it's finished it's really it shouldn't take that long and it should just say this up there once it's been completed just click close and now it's going to go ahead and open it up close this minimize this okay minimize your uh a main game directory now once you open it it should show up with this window go down to your grand theft auto v and select windows in here it should it wants to know where your grand theft auto v location is just click browse and then if you did what i, I did before you should have it pinned here if you don't uh, the location is this pc go to your local disk then go to program files uh, times 86 then in there, go down to Steam, find Steam. In Steam, go to Steam Apps, and then go to Common, and then you should be there. But if you pinned it, you can just click on that. Okay, once you're in here, you want to go into your main game directory, not your backup, your main game directory. Once you're in there, guys, you want to go ahead and, yeah, once you're in your Grand Theft Auto press Select Folder, okay? Now it should say successfully. Basically, it can work with this file, it should say. Okay, once it's done that, press continue. Then it should say, do not forget to back up your original file, but we've already done that, so we can press continue again. Now it's just gonna do its thing, just like load up. Because it is the first time of its actually loading up, so it's just gonna do its thing, just like do it, be patient. Let it start up. Okay, once it opens up, it should pop up with this window, just click no thanks. I want to go ahead and full screen open ID. Now, the first time opening it, it should look like this, okay? Uh, at the top right of um, the corner, it should say an edit mode, okay? Uh, go ahead and click on the edit mode. And then click yes, okay? Now, it should pop up with this here. Install plugin for GTA V. Uh, GTA 5. Uh, just click on the ASI manager um, t button here. It should take you here, okay? Uh, ASI loader should already be installed. Once that's installed, there'll be an openiv.asi, click install, yes, and click install again. Once you've done that, you can click close. As you can see now, you will have a mods folder. Now, once you've done all that, you can minimize openiv, go back into your main game directory. Now, um, what we want to do, we now have a mods folder, go ahead and open that as you can see, it's empty right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select the update. Hold left control and select the time 64. Once you've done that, right click, go to show more options and click copy. Okay. Once you've done that, go back into your mods folder. In here, right click, show more options and then paste. Now it's just going to go ahead and paste exit time 64 and update into here. Um, it will take a bit of a while because it's pretty big uh, files folders. But um, just go ahead and wait for it and be patient. Anyway, once it's done, uh, we can continue with the next steps. Okay, guys, so once it's finished uh, loading exit 4 and the update folder inside of the mods folder, we can go back to Grand Theft Auto V and refresh. So now we have a mods folder, we can go ahead and minimize our Grand Theft Auto V. And now what we want to go ahead and do is go back to our browser. And the next and final link will be the actual Insane Rain mod 1.2. Okay, so in here, um, once you're clicked in the link in the description, it should take you to this page, okay? Now what we want to go ahead and do is we want to click the big download button here. And then in here, click uh, the big download button here. Once it's downloaded, go to your downloads and open it again with open. Uh, sorry, open it again with WinRAR. Open IV. <laughs> okay. Once you've opened it with WinRAR, we can now close uh, the last link. We don't need our browser anymore. Now we're gonna put it to this side. In here, there should be four, well, three files and one readme. Okay. 
now once you've got this open we want to go back into open iv um and we want to put this to one side it's easier okay guys so at this side i've got my insane rain mods and at this side i've got my open iv okay so in um the insane rain mod we want to go ahead and open the insane rain folder okay there'll be two um files in here rainstorm underscore render underscore drop xml then there's rainstorm underscore render underscore ground xml okay uh so i'm gonna go ahead and open the readme uh all this open the readme it'll tell you where you, you, the path is basically so start open up an iv go to edit mode okay make sure your edit mode is on guys as soon as you get into open iv so now we need to follow this path here, okay? So back in our open IV, what we want to go ahead and do is we want to go into our mods folder. And in here, uh, we want to go to um, common.rpf. If it's not in here, like it's not in here for me, at the side you should see common.rpf here. Just click on it, and in here, click copy to mods folder, okay? So now, once you go back into your mods folder, common.rpf should be in here, okay? So, once you're in your mods folder, go ahead now and go into common.rpf. Once you're in here, um, go to data. And then once you're in data, you want to go ahead and find levels, okay? So, levels is here. Go inside levels. Once you're inside of levels, you want to go inside of the GTA 5. Uh, now, we want to go ahead and go inside of weather, okay? In weather, um, read uh, the readme again, replace each rainstorm underscore render underscore drop dot xml a rainstorm files uh, with the same. Right. Okay, now we can close the readme. Now what we want to go ahead and do is we want to go back to the insane rain. Now we want to go into the insane rain folder. In here, um, we just need to go ahead and select these two. We don't need the comparison uh, PNG. We just need the, the rainstorm underscore render underscore drop dot XML, and we need the rainstorm underscore render underscore ground dot XML. Once you've got these two, you want to go ahead and drag and drop uh, into here. Okay, not hovering over anything, just at the side. Go ahead and drag and drop them in there. Now, as you can see. These two are now compressed, okay? Not compressed encrypted anymore, just compressed. Once that's happened, that means it's worked, okay? Once you've done that, we want to go ahead and go back uh, into the insane rain. Once we're in the, back into the normal, we want to now go into the insane thunderstorm folder, okay? Once you're in here, there's also a readme in here, and it'll tell you what to do now. So just go ahead and follow this. It's the same place. And close this as well okay so now we want to select these two don't select the readme just these two all we want to select is the thunder underscore render underscore drop dot xml and the thunder underscore render underscore ground dot xml once you've got these two highlighted go ahead and drag and drop it into the same place and let go as you can see now they're not compressed or encrypted anymore they're both compressed that means that's worked as well once you've done that you can go back out of this now guys we have done it we have installed the mod but there also is an optional rain with smaller drops you can install this in here as well but it, it, it won't look as good okay but that's an optional you can do it if you want but we're just gonna skip we're just gonna stay with the normal insane rain and the insane thunderstorm anyway once you've finished doing all that and make sure these are both um these four are both compressed now and you've dragged them in we can close the insane rain when we're out, and we can now close the actual open iv and we can also close our grand theft auto v main game directory in file explorer now once you've done that we want to go ahead and launch the game and in there i'm going to go ahead and showcase it for you guys so i'll see you in the game okay guys so once you're in the game um everything should look normal if it isn't raining but uh, to get the uh, rain well to we're gonna make it rain with the trainer the, um, the simple trainer that we've just installed uh, to open it we need to press f3 on the keyboard once you click that it should show up here um, in here you want to go ahead and go down to time uh, this is what I use for rain now we want to go ahead and go down to um, it is set hour of day so we're gonna set this to 
just going to set it to about three, because I think that's yeah, three. Now we're going to freeze time. We'll just leave it there. Once we've set it to about three, this is about night. We want to go ahead and go to weather, okay? In weather, we're going to first start with rain, okay? Let's see what rain looks like. Uh, this is what it's going to look like. Let's go ahead and have a look. And here we go. As you can see already, the raindrops, the raindrops are actually a lot thick. A lot thicker. Yeah, now here. See, here it is. Now it's starting to get into action. Sure. Who actually thinks helping people <laughs> is the best way to help people? Vote for me, Jock Cranley, you know, oh and help goodness. yourselves. This message this paid for insane. by Jock Cranley for governor. This mod, I've just got to say this one. Look at this. So this is just rain, right? And this already just looks amazing. Imagine just using LSPDFR on a night rain patrol or thunder patrol. This is so cool. But this is the rain setting. Now we're gonna go ahead and go back to F3. Back to the rain. Now we're gonna try thunder, okay? Let's go ahead and try thunder. Oh. Okay, let's so look at this. Damn. Damn. This is wow, this is realistic. Wow. So this is what it looks like guys. This is what it looks description down below so if you're having any problems with any mods or anything join my discord go ahead and head to help and support creators if you're there and i uh, whatever it is so anyway guys i would appreciate if you can like and subscribe if you thank you for 100 subscribers anyway guys see you. bye